anthrax hasn't been documented in wildlife since 1956. It's back. Did you know anthrax is a zoonotic disease? It's already killed lots of cows. Says breaking news, anthrax outbreak kills dozens of cows with a warning of risk to humans. They're warning that if you've been around this, whether it be a horse, a cow, a moose, a deer, to contact Department of Health or get medical provider as soon as possible if you suspect a risk. And you know about all the Nigerians coming across. Well, I'm gonna tell you about a little bit of anthrax awareness going on down there, knowing that this can be spread simply through the air. What now? What you guys need to know coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. One of our community members sent me this, anthrax outbreak kills dozens of cows with warning of risk to humans. And in quotes, it says, this is a localized region at this time, but we are still investigating and there could be other losses that we don't know about quite yet. This breaking news is brand new as of September. So it's fresh off the press. And if the cows aren't bad enough for you guys that are hunting out there, on September 3rd, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department confirmed a case of anthrax in a dead moose nearby the cattle. So the concern is that this is spreading through other animals. Trust me, a lot of brand new information that you guys need to know about because this is picking up. But real quick, you know they wanna get rid of the all natural mom and pop type shop ranches that they don't control or have interest in. And did you know that these mega companies control 85% of all processed beef? Some people need a better option. And do you know what a lot of them have to pump those animals full of? Lots of injections. Xeranol, for instance. Did you know, yet again, another thing that's legal in the United States, but banned and in Europe brings on early puberty, a carcinogen linked to breast cancer. Some people out there are looking for a cleaner option. And I'm often asked, where do you get your beef, Cohen? Well, I get it from an American family owned business that has a never ever guarantee. Never raised with hormones and never raised with antibiotics. I actually found the highest quality in the United States. Just take a little gander at some of the quality control aspects of this outfit. A lot of people moving to getting things shipped directly to their homes. So with that, a lot of people are turning to Butcher Box, Omaha Steaks, Double R Ranch, Snake River Farms, which are all way more expensive. And the quality, just on this ribeye alone, you guys can see the difference. For myself, I want green check marks on all of these. Primer high choice, never hormones, never antibiotics, USA raised, USA processed, fully vertically integrated, and the price for a ribeye bundle beats the competition at higher quality. So for those of you that don't have the down the road rancher and need a good option, link at the top of the description, link at the top of the comments. They also have an option to save on shipping, which is a huge savings. And it's the matter of switching over some of the other stuff that you get maybe at Walmart, Sam's Club, Kroger, to again, American made, non-toxic, family owned business. Now on to more information about this crazy news. Right here in Daily Mail, brand new news, anthrax outbreaks kills dozens of cows with the warning of risk to humans. An outbreak of anthrax has killed at least 50 cattle and one moose in Wyoming, according to state's veterinarian. The fact of the matter is, is this hasn't happened since 1956. And with a warning of risk to humans, the Wyoming State Veterinarian Laboratory confirmed that the cattle from multiple herds around Elk Mountain in Carbon County tested positive for the disease in an August 31st report. That's this year. And on September 3rd, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department confirmed a case of anthrax in a dead moose nearby the cattle which means that they're saying that it sounds like it's going from animal to animal. They also said we have approximately 50 to 60 head that have died at this time due to anthrax. Wyoming State Veterinarian Dr. Haley Hazel told Cowboy State Daily. Now the good thing is, is they're saying it's in a localized region at this time, but we are still investigating and there could be other losses that they don't know about yet. Anthrax, people. A little bit about anthrax. Anthrax is the name of a disease caused by spores of bacteria 
Baculus anthracus and human infections are rare in the US. So they're waving the flags, but they're saying we might be okay. So like I said, since 1956, it says this recent detection in a moose is the first confirmed case of anthrax in wildlife in the state since 1956. Makes you wonder, where in the heck did this come from? Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Suspicious or not suspicious? What's also interesting is they say anthrax is a zoonotic disease, and we are concerned about that. Anybody that thinks they have been exposed to a carcass of an animal that may have died of anthrax, whether it be a cow, horse, moose, or deer, they need to contact the Wyoming Department of Public Health or their medical provider as soon as possible, Hazel said. Now, something I'm sure you're not surprised about, it goes on and says, a bunch of stuff about how they don't know exactly how this happened. It could be the heat, it could be the lack of rain, it could be soil conditions. Everything they're dropping out of planes these days makes me want to scratch my head on that one too. So you would have to imagine ranchers are probably concerned about the herds. Well, they say ranchers who are concerned about their herds catching the disease are encouraged to contact their veterinarians about getting an anthrax vaccine. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out who's behind that, because I'm sure that that's gonna be a cash cow with all the herds that are gonna need that one. Not sure you guys knew, but check this out. It goes on to read, the disease is famous for use as a biological weapon, including in the wake of 9-11 attacks when it was sent out in the mail. That's right, five Americans were killed during the attacks and 17 became unwell. So they're saying that they use it as a bioweapon. This day and age, I would assume that if a huge mega company wanted to scale its profits and make a ton of money, and it's as easy as just sending it out in the mail, well, you could figure out a few ways to make a buck on that, right? Just thinking crazy out loud. I'm not sure, am I the only one that thinks that way? It's actually pretty ridiculous that I even think that way, but that's how this day and age, real life events, is sculpting my mind. And they say that this recent detection in the moose is the first confirmed case of anthrax in wildlife since 1956. I think I said that. The next thing I'm sure you guys are asking yourselves is how do I know if I get this? What are the signs and symptoms? This article says those infected start to experience symptoms between one and seven days after exposure, which vary depending on how they were infected. For those infected in the skin, the disease first causes raised bumps to appear before characteristic black ekar emerges, S escar emerges, I'm sure I said that wrong. But in patients who have caught the disease via the air, it can come from the air. They may have flu-like illness for two or three days, which then disappears before the individual suddenly starts struggling to breathe. Well, that sounds fantastic. So how are they gonna treat this? To treat the infection, doctors tend to use antibiotics to kill the bacteria, as well as keep patients in an intensive care unit. Anthrax was first described in the 1700s, but infections believed to have been caused by the disease have been recorded all the way back to biblical times. Okay, now I'd mentioned Nigeria, right? Check this out, this just coming out. Really ironic that we've been seeing uh, proof and video footage on this channel also back in the day, not very, very long ago, but the fact that people coming across being Nigerian, how easy this stuff spreads. Ironic that there is anthrax awareness down there right now. Check this out. The Krakow market along Shaki Sein Road, you say in local government area over your state, is the present location for a campaign to educate cattle dealers on the dangers of anthrax and what they must do to prevent any outbreak of the deadly disease of the state. This campaign is being championed by officials of the State Epidemiology Center from the Ministry of Health and that of the Ministry of Agriculture. They appeal to cattle dealers that early detection and prompt report of any noticed anomaly is the way to go. They will bring to the Central Batio, Ibadan, the Lamadishina International Cattle Market, Akiele, the sheep and goat market in the Baden. And uh, quite fortunate we were able to meet with all the stakeholders in all the cattle markets in the states, informing them of the uh, disease and how to prevent and know the symptoms in relation to the anthrax disease. As of today, there has not been any report of anthrax disease in Ohio State.
kind of ironic. They say no big problem yet, but we want to warn everyone and tell everyone what to do in case this happens. Just super ironic. And the timing is impeccable, right? So now the same person sent me this, which is crazy. So this is anthrax information for general public and it comes from the WHO, of course. Now, source of infection. It looks like people are just chilling at the park and uh, it can be just airborne, food, skin, basically super easy to get. Types of exposure and prevention. Basically, don't come in contact with any animal that's got it. Don't buy or consume meat because it could have it. Avoid touching raw meat because it could be of sick animals. Boil your milk and cook your meat thoroughly. Great. And then of course, vaccinating livestock. Day and age where there's a vaccination for everything, right? And then of course it goes into the signs and symptoms, which we briefly talked about. This can probably be easily found on the WHO uh, website under anthrax. What I'm noticing is that this can spread easy it's easy to get and it can be pretty darn fatal. Now, like I've said before, we all keep our eyes wide open and like to stay aware. We don't know if this is gonna turn into a big deal. First step is being aware and prepared. Boy, folks, I got a lot more crazy stuff coming down the pipe I'm gonna share with you guys. Please hit the like button, share this video. Don't forget the links in the pinned comment, top of description, if you guys are looking to explore some good stuff. And as I know more, I'll keep you guys posted. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.